I'm 19 female and I just moved back in with my mom after being my at my grandma's for a year. My mom kicked me out because I she didn't want me to order DoorDash without feeding everyone in the house. I was 18 and was sharing the food with her kids but that one time I ordered myself a milkshake. She told me not to eat the food in the house anymore but a couple days later asked me to wash the dishes I hadn't ate from. All I did was ask her calmly if I can't eat your food what makes you think it's fair to make me wash your dishes. She lost her shit and asked my grandma to take me in or I was gonna be on the streets and she didn't give a fuck. My grandma kicked me out because when I first moved in with her, her bedroom, I was meant to sleep in, was absolutely covered in trash and broken garbage bags full of dirty clothes. She slept on the couch. I cleaned it up to make it livable for me, as I'm not a dirty person. After she knew I cleaned it up she had been threatening to take her room back and I'd have to leave. She finally ordered her some new curtains bedroom decor and got rid of me so she can have her dream room. Now my mother, who offered for me to live here, is causing me trouble again. Before I left it was hell for a plethora of petty reasons and now it's no different even though she said it would be. I've been actively job hunting since my first day here at her place and had no luck. This is her response. My mother has stopped allowing me to eat food in the house. I'm not allowed to consume anything from the kitchen unless it's water. I used to steal food but she has cameras in her kitchen, living room, backyard, front yard, facing the kids' bedrooms and bathroom that she watches like it's television so she caught me. Threatened to take me to a shelter if I touched her food again. I must feed myself but like I said I'm jobless and she knew that when she accepted me back home. My long-distance boyfriend, 19, gets me door dash every other day when he can. And even then, I'm not allowed to eat in the house, I have to eat it outside at the neighborhood park no matter the e-weather or how early it is. Or even if it's dark, there's no lights at the park so it's pitch black out there. My boyfriend works long hours so sometimes he works till 1am. If he offers me something after he gets off work I have to decline it because I'm not allowed to order anything or leave her house after 10pm. Sometimes he can't afford to for days at a time and I'm left hungry. I'm not angry at him at all for that. I'm more than thankful for the financial help and emotional support he provides. I do hate having to depend on him to eat, but I'm try for jobs and he's all I got. I never asked him to he just offers and at first I would tell him now but I got so hungry I couldn't say no. I am expected to clean my mother and two younger sisters, 13 and 11, dishes and even help prepare the food, but not allowed to eat. Rarely she'll order takeout and then when everyone's finished eating I'm allowed a tiny portion of food, the smallest drumstick out of the KFC bucket and four french fries. I don't know if I'm just being greedy or an asshole, but it feels like I'm being fed scraps like a dog. After her doing that twice, I asked her why I wasn't allowed to eat. She said because you don't eat unless you work, I'm starving you into getting a job. She knows I've been job hunting since I got here. I keep her updated on the places, interviews, the follow-up emails, and all the rejections. As unfortunate as it is for me to go hungry, I understand her thought process. Two weeks ago, she started a new rule. I'm not allowed to stay in the house or around the premises of the house if no one's home. I'm not allowed a set of keys or the code to the house security system. I have to wake up with her when she gets up from work and then leave out of the house when she leaves for work. I'm not allowed back in until my sister walks home from school and opens the door with her house keys. I don't have a car to sit in case of the weather, so when it rains or it's cold, I'm just fudged. Soaking wet and shivering. If I need to use the bathroom... I have to walk to the nearest gas station and use the bathroom. Luckily it's open to the public. Today I almost bled myself, had to walk to my sister's school and get the keys to unlock the door, clean myself up, and then give them back to her. My mom has a ring doorbell and a million fudging cameras all over the house, pointed to the kids' bedrooms and bathroom to watch everything. She has had it that way since I was still in school and had my own room. I'm also not allowed to talk or text anyone including my boyfriend she knows helps me eat BC otherwise I'd actually starve, on the phone I bought and pay the bill on. Anytime she catches me on the phone she threatens to pack my bags up and drop me off at a homeless shelter and leave me there. Which she can do, I'm a legal adult, and she doesn't have to let me stay in her house. But how crazy is that? Not being allowed to stay in the home you were allowed to live in again, not being able to stay dry and warm from the weather, not being able to eat. Not being able to shower and change my pad when I've had an accident. Not being able to talk on my phone. Not being allowed to have a comfortable place to sit or charge my phone. Before she started to kick me out, 
I'd get up and go job hunting and only come back until I had to pee or needed water slash food. Job hunting is a full-time job and I've always treated it like such. She doesn't care though. Right now I'm sitting on her porch. She's already complained that I need to get off her tiny. It's the size of a porta potty literally. Porch. I told her that it's starting to rain. She said she doesn't care. So even though I'm still gonna be wet on this porch at least it's close to the house. I also use this porch to charge my phone and plug in my heating pad when it's weather it's cold out but she still doesn't care. I apply for jobs online, which doesn't require for me to be outside, but she says I'm not allowed to sit in her house. We live in the digital age and paper applications are extremely rare to be an option. I've walked to every single business and shop within a 20 mile radius of the house, whilst her and my sister sat in the car and followed behind me while talking shit about me being a lazy failure in life. I'd go in and ask if they were hiring and they'd laugh at me and tell me to apply online on their website in this dot tone. That's what I had been doing but my mom thinks it's 1992 and that places have paper applications. I tried to explain that to her but she didn't want to hear it and still doesn't. I've been applying every day on my phone for hours while I'm stuck out here. I've applied to everything from janitor, fast food, to flight attendant, warehouses, and cabin agent for airlines at the local airport. I've done interviews she offers to drive me to and tell her about it afterward. I keep her updated on everything. I need to know I'm not crazy and feeling frustrated here. I'm aware I'm a legal adult, and she's not required to help me at all, but this is starting to feel unjust to me. This is bad treatment, right? Or am I just spoiled and don't know it? This is normal? What do I do to make this better? How can I fix this? Update. I literally just got off the phone with a Sam's Club recruiter and he told me he's going through with my application process and welcome to the team does that mean I got it or that I'm just being accepted to physically interview? Freddy here. No, this is not acceptable and your mother is terribly abusive. Your grandma doesn't sound great either it could be generational abuse slash trauma. I don't live with my parents anymore and haven't for years, but when we lived under the same roof, even if we had disagreements, my mom always made sure I had plenty to eat. I'm sorry you're going through this. Is there anyone else you can stay with? Friends? Boyfriend? It sounds like the safest thing to do in your situation is to leave your mom's home. I would contact you shelter organizations in your area that might be able to offer you some temporary support as well. This is not normal. Your mom is abusive. Story 2. My mother is upset that I wanted my wedding to be about me and my husband. I, 33F, just married my husband, 33M, this past Saturday. I planned our wedding over the past 13 months. I did hire a day of event coordinator, but I did the majority of the work. I wanted simple elegance and I found a church and a reception hall that didn't need a lot of decor added. My husband and I also decided to keep our wedding fairly small, around 100 people or so. I should mention, my parents gave me a decent lump sum of cash, not overly crazy or small, to spend on my wedding as I see fit. But anything outside that cost I needed to pay for with my husband. The money essentially covered the reception costs, besides decor and entertainment and cake. From the beginning my mother wanted to invite a ton of her friends. I told her that simply wasn't possible due to the size of the venue we booked. But it never stopped her from asking every couple of weeks to see if we could add more people. Friends she insisted had prayed so hard for me to find someone to marry. I only conceded for a few couples I have actually known since I was a teenager or younger. One couple I actually speak to on a semi-regular basis. The real trouble started when I informed my mother that the tables the venue provided only seated eight. She wanted all her friends sitting at the same table. She insisted for her, my father, my sister, her sister, her brother-in-law, my grandparents, and three of their couple friends needed to all sit together. Claiming she didn't want anyone feeling snubbed about not being at the right table. I warned her months ago when I took her on a tour of my reception venue that this was not possible and she started getting frustrated and asking for larger tables or different tables to try and fit a large amount of people at one table. The venue could not do larger tables. At the time I hadn't even sent out invitations, and I kept telling her that it wasn't the place or time to freak out about sitting arrangements. During this same tour she started inquiring about all these extra, decor, items she wanted to add that we didn't really want slash need for our day. The venue has this beautiful brick patio with trees and lights and a fire pit. 
It was just extra work I knew that was going to be reliant and me slash my coordinator to follow through on since my mother often suffers from headaches etc. And I knew she was going to be busy with her sister and brother-in-law slash any other family members. When I expressed my concerns and mentioned that invitations were not sent and that I didn't want all the extra decor I received a very stern and angry remark. This isn't just about you OP, this is a reflection on me and your father. Over the next several months my mother insisted on several unnecessary DIY decor for the outdoors. My husband and I purchased a cutting cake slash cupcake package and planned for one of the cupcake flavors to match our cutting cake and my mother insisted on wanting to get a slice of cake even though I expressed my dislike of the idea. And both of my parents insisted on all their friends at their table and I told them I would do my best to sit everyone they wanted to talk to close their table. However that wasn't good enough and I had to just make it happen. I didn't make it happen. I sat people close together, and I informed them as such. Wedding week arrived and of course I ended up having to fix up the extra decor last minute. In addition day or my wedding I found out at dinner my parents moved their friends to their table despite sitting literally right next to them at an adjacent table. And today my husband and I discovered a quarter of our cutting cake gone. We only took one slice to share between us at the reception. 